out of the loop B, number 108.05. So I want to explain myself now what I mean when I say Neo-Swedenborgians do not believe in God because Neo-Swedenborgians can prove God to exist. This is the Neo-Swedenborgian God proof, otherwise known as the bad news of Neo-Swedenborgianism. Um, and it's basically that this, we hear all these near-death experiences of the person who went down the tunnel of light and they were immersed in this loving light and the loving light was God and they know it. I can link a hundred of these where this person knows it. They know it beyond anything on this earth. This vision they had, this experience they had, was more real than anything on this whole earth and they can't wait to get back. This is a subjective experience, which is, means it is experienced in the first person. The person says, and now, mind you, I didn't have this experience, and I'm not saying this, but I'm quoting hundreds of people who say, I saw this and I know. That is a subjective experience. Okay? And I'm not pretending it's not, but what I'm saying is that the consistency of this subjective experience has already been objectively verified. So we can predict now that out of a hundred cardiac arrests, there will be about 10 near-death experiences. And out of those 10 near-death experiences, one or two will have this, this absolutely convincing experience of the existence of a deity. Okay, that's one or two out of a hundred cardiac arrests and there are thousands of cardiac arrests every single day. So you don't see God through a telescope. You don't see God through a microscope. You don't see God in the actual natural world. You see God in the human experience. And that's the only place you can actually verify and consistently see this God experience. Howard Storm, people talk about him just like that, but that's happening hundreds of times a day across the country at a predictable and observable and quantifiable rate. So it only matters to people. It doesn't, you can't prove God to exist out in the universe, but you can absolutely prove God to exist within the human experience. That's the bad news of neo Swedenborgianism is the fact that it is, you can show it to be hyper real. All these people consistently say it was more real than real. That doesn't mean it is more real. It only means that it is perceived as more real to the pe person perceiving it. Subjectively, it is. it appears more real to people. And so this only applies if you are a person, okay? If you're a tree watching this, don't worry. <laughs> but if you are a human watching this, um, it is consistently verifiable that this is within the human experience. And it doesn't really seem to matter your actual religious affiliation. I personally think it is embedded within our language. So if you are listening to me in English, this applies to you. You have a, a quantifiable rate. You have a, a quantifiable chance of experiencing this deity. It is real in that sense, and that is all I'm saying. That's the bad news of neo Swedenborgianism, and that is why neo Swedenborgians do not believe in God, because we can prove that.